What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Diluvion. My name is Splattercat. Very happy to have you here today as we sail through this big stone sphincter into the blue unknown. It's so beautiful. It's so bright and beautiful. I assume that this is taking me down to Giant Seat. That's what I'm hoping anyways. If I'm good at navigating, this is taking me to Giant Seat. If I'm bad at navigating, who the hell knows where this is taking me. It could be taking me quite literally anywhere, but I'm pretty sure it's going to Giant Seat. Now in here, we'll want to keep a lookout in the previous episode. We had gotten a work order in a nutshell. We had gotten a work order in a nutshell for the retrofitting of my ship. Sorry, I told him to dive instead of rise. It's my bad. They rhyme. They kind of look similar as far as words go. Eh, my bad. Inside the drill house, we'll slow down that ascent. We'll dock up inside of here and hopefully we'll get a few more plates because we're back inside the battle area that it was talking about previously. So right here, we've got a box that's got some dinar and some scrap inside of it. Not really what I'm looking for, though. Some fossils inside of the jar. Shit. I was hoping for a few more plates. we got to get 15 of them in order to conclude our mission here. I need to go in the direction. So that goes to Glacialberg. Giant seat. That's where I needed to go. All right, forward. Forward full. I feel like it'd be badass to be the guy that gets to give that order to pull, like, the giant handle. Like, forward full! And then somebody has to go push a handle to forward full, otherwise they, like, get fired or court-martialed or whatever. Seems kind of awesome. This actually just looks like some kind of weird wraparound to me. I don't think it's that spot, though. One here. Let's pull out of these weird little... I don't even know what to call those things. Those little little sea bumpers. Whatever the hell you want to call them. I do wish your character showed up on the map. It would just make this whole experience a tad easier. Uh, we've got sonar and the ability to ping in a compass. Between those two tools, you really, really, really should be able to tri triangulate your position without too many problems. I'm going to head back to where we were at and see if maybe we can find our way back in and over. Yeah, I think this is the little little spirally area that's off to the left-hand side. Full ahead with overdrive, trying to keep myself nice and speedy. Get up and out of here. And while it does reduce us to half speed for a little while, that's okay. So coming back out, we're going to want to make a hard left to get back to the place where we're going to find our sea plates. Worst case scenario is if I end up actually having to scratch and dig and really, really look for the damn things, what I'll do is I'll make it so that I just find them in my own time and then I'll come back with a cut or whatever. But I'm hoping we just missed like one or two of the little loot things. We are caught up inside a current. Alright, so we don't really want to go to Tunisburg. Instead, I'm going to cut through this little fishy area over here. We'll rise slightly. Just to make sure we don't end up racked on the rocks down here. Normally, I like racks upon racks upon racks, but in this situation, oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll stay away from it for a bit. We want to go to Giant Seat, though, which is right over here. I do think the landmarks help with navigating, and so that's a nice little thing to have access to. There's a current right next to us that we're currently avoiding, and I don't mean to be punny in that situation. I did not mean to do that one. It's not my fault. Don't downvote, or do downvote. I don't care. It only makes my video go higher in search, so, you know. Downvote, upvote, do whatever the hell you want. Rule YouTube's rules are completely and totally arbitrary and make no sense whatsoever. They'd be like, but no, if you get downvotes, it means that you're more likely to get clicks because you're controversial. And I'm just like, that doesn't sound right to me. I mean, I, I get where the logic is coming from. But if you're consistently downvoted, doesn't that mean people should like not want to look at your shit and therefore it should be lower? I don't know. I just don't know anymore. I want to be able to down thumb people's posts on Facebook. I'd be trolling Facebook hard the day that they added that in. Because there's so much dumb shit on Facebook that I just don't want to read. Like, there are so many things that I'm just like, yeah, that's an asinine opinion. Yep. I hate everything about that statement you just made. 
That is goddamn awful. You should be embarrassed about this statement. But I can't. I can't. I mean, you can say that. But what's better than just like a really, really derisive looking down your nose down thumb? You know, I, I think that really properly states your disdain towards the opinion. So there are a whole bunch of loot spheres down here. We would need to find more of them, though, if we wanted to get ourselves latched in. It looks like I missed a research post right there. I only came to the loot sphere because I wanted to get my air tanks refilled. Oh. Well, there you go. I guess these ones have been missed. Am I in a different spot? Because that should be... Yeah, that's it. Like, we got that thing done. Let's take a look at the Morse radio then. That was quick and easy. So where can I find the Morse radio? Those things aren't cheap, and they're too fragile to survive a battle. Oh, I think, um... I think you'll be able to find one over in the Sonar Communications Guild in Tamaldal. Okay, so where is Tamaldal? Like, maybe down here somewhere? Since that's the only place we haven't been, I would assume that that's where it's going to be. So that would mean that when we get to the City of Ice, we would want to break straight south. Okay. Sounds fine to me. Let's creep forward. I think I'm going to try and clear this minefield. There we go. How we set off that mine without destroying the workshop, I don't really know. Stuff that's built underwater tends to be kind of fragile. Just due to the massive amounts of pressure that are being like unleashed upon it. I mean, if I can get a couple more of these plates just to like vendor or whatever, I'd be perfectly fine with that too. Or just more treasure for me, you know. Anything works. I'm just trying to get these pockets on Swole. You know, I'm trying to get the tuna, put these pockets on Yokozuna. Damn it. Shoot better. Everything I've blown up so far has been on accident. Everything I've blown up so far has been completely and totally on accident. This is my life. I only murder things on accident. A blowfish. So that ship has clearly been piratated. Which is a complex technical term for what happens when you get piracied. The reason I want these plates is because they're actually worth a decent amount of money. They're worth about as much as a book is. So, might as well grab them while I'm down here. Is somebody shooting at me right now? I can't help but feel at least as though I'm a tiny bit threatened at the moment. Because I keep hearing explosions and seeing flashes and things. Oh, I can dock with this. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to dock with it because I've never seen this before. So that filled up our air tank. What's inside of this thing? Oh, a vendor. So it looks like it was a merchant vessel. You hitting the bottle? Captain's got a right to his bottle. You want to join up? Ah, uh, join your crew, you say. Will there be opportunities for study along the way? So he's got perception and endurance. Unfortunately, that just leaves him... Well, he's got intelligence. Perception and intelligence. He'll be a good sonar operator. He might do okay. He's got four endurance, though, too, which is pretty good. Hmm. Let me see what I've got first. So, let's say that I sell that off. I sell that off. We got a couple of C charts, which are worth a little bit of money. Not much, though. I can get rid of the reinforced plates for a little bit of cash. That puts me on 4K. Basically, what I want to do is I need to start building towards dedicated officers. Like, guys that are going to get all of my upgrades, essentially. No, don't give him crew. Take crew off. And then with you. So he's got endurance, intelligence, perception. I was building him to be like an all-arounder, I guess. Whereas for her... She needs upgrades to either her, so for endurance, she's going to need upgrades to her strength. Or she's going to need upgrades, so perception and strength, perception, intelligence, endurance, and strength. 
So she needs strength upgrades if she's actually going to work. I'm going to give that to Jack to make his perception even better and also clear out the inventory space. That makes him a pretty solid sonar operator as far as that's concerned. His range is up by 60%. If I can get his intelligence up a slight bit... Shit, we're under attack. Hold on. Oof. Apparently there's a torpedo coming in. From who? I don't know. From you. Okay. Well, that means we probably want to stay the hell away from this guy's bad side. But that dude got his ass sunk. He thought he came out hard. He came out hard firing that torpedo thing, and he was a badass, and he got put to sleep. He went night-night. Okay, so from here... I want everything you got, man. You shot at me. So I want everything you have, and I'm going to take it because I've earned it by the rights of combat. I've earned it by the rights of combat. Doorbells and alarm clocks, the two greatest disruptors of my series. Not even lying to you. Doorbells and alarm clocks. So there's our dear sunken friend. We've killed off the guy that tried to murder us, although he did sink a torpedo into the side of us pretty nasty style. That torpedo did a lot of damage. We don't have a ton of HP, so like eating hits like that over and over and over again is never going to be practical. Can I dock here? I would like to dock here. This is an area that I've never seen before. Am I under attack again? I feel like I'm under attack again. Yes, I am under attack again. Alright, up we go. We have apparently ended up at Pirate Central. Is he down? Did we get him? Okay, he's crippled. Oh, we shot one of his little winglies off. Badass. I didn't know you could disassemble their ships, although some kind of disassembly would be really, really awesome. Can I destroy the ship after it's already been sunk? That's my next curiosity, is I want to know if, like, if I keep shooting, does it die even deader? Like, will it break into pieces and get battle damage? I've done a lot of combat in this session. Seriously, I wasn't expecting to fight this much. He wasn't even worth it. He's got a whole bunch of books on board. We just murdered this guy for like the full works of Dostoevsky. Alright, half speed. We're going to go down to here. I am curious to know what this is. Is it like a place of business or like what is it? Looks like a destroyed leftover base. I will 100% take all of that scrap. Yes, please. Free bullets are always something that will entice me. I will never turn them down. Free bullets are the best. I got a website that I go to that I buy all my ammunition for when I do my target practicing and everything. And like, the ammo is perfectly good. It's non-corrosive and everything. It's all by major brands, but you get it for like six bucks a box. So it's like 40 rounds for like 650. It's like, Jesus. How can you beat that? Like, I got to do extra paperwork because you got to ship it across state lines. But it's like, for that amount, yeah, I'll do the paperwork for that amount of a discount. You buy it from a store here and your average box of ammo is like 20 bucks. So save that much money. Hey, some free plates in there. A few more on that side. Five plates inside of that one. So hell yeah. Let's get on to our next objective. I don't want to spend too much time picking through the wreckage of the past here. I mean, obviously there are lots and lots of things that are lootable in this area. But if we can keep the storyline moving, I would prefer that. We haven't even made it to the Endless Corridor yet, which is supposedly what this game is all about. Oh, another research base. You guys selling? Is it a different place, or is it this is the same place as before? So I guess the loot respawns. I guess is sort of what I'm leaning towards, maybe. So that you can like pick back through it if you need to. These people give you better prices than the other people. I'd be inclined to sell most of my shit to this guy. Lady. Friend. Pal. If there's anybody around that needs a job. Hit me up G. I don't think there is though. 
All right. Well, let's surface up. Let me take a look at my compass. Figure out where it is we might be going. It doesn't say if there's anything in this direction. But... Oh, look at that. It doesn't matter. Okay, fine. We'll go back to the main area. And then they wanted me to go to Stahlborg or something like that in order to get myself a new Morse machine. We're almost back inside a central hub area. I've been trying to ride a current the entire way, but it's just not enough. Travel time is a little bit slow in this game. I would actually urge the developers to maybe make a change that would allow you to use overdrive whenever there's not enemies around. Just don't put a cooldown on overdrive unless you're in combat would be my suggestion because the traveling in between locations so far is actually, to me, the most cumbersome part of the game. It just takes a long time to get in between locations. Like, yeah, you can ride currents around, but half the time, the currents aren't going in directions you want anyways, so... It's a thing that I would probably think about moving around a little bit. Just making it a little bit more pleasant to play, I guess. So we are in Taunusburg right now. So from Taunusburg, we've got protectors on this side. So from Taunusburg, I would suggest that we go this direction. We already went to Glacialburg. I'm thinking to the southwest is the way we want to go in order to get our Morse radio. If we stumble our way into the engine parts, that's perfectly fine too. And in fact, I will ask him about the engine parts so that I so that I can see the names. Morse radio. Oh, maybe we got to do it in order. Never mind then. So we got to do the Morse radio next. All right. Well, rather than spend a whole bunch of time here, I am going to make for Stavkirk. Yeah, we should probably, I was going to say, we should probably stop at the Vehicle Engineering Guild just to get our oxygen squared away. Our tanks are looking a tad low, and I don't like asphyxiation as a possible end to our quest. Seems like it might suck. Hey, attach to the thing. Ah. Oh, it was trying to go to that one. That's what happened. It was trying to go to the top one. The Kraken of Savings. Hey, free crowbar, finally. We can finally do that. Ooh, two crowbars. Hell yeah. What have you got going on? Would you like to buy a wooden charm? It relaxes your sailors. So do they smoke it, or like, what do they do with it? An accurate medium-range bolt cannon. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I want that. I Give me that. I want that for me, please. If I sell the crowbars, I can get it. Oh, I want it so bad. A medium-range bolt cannon. This is like a simple to use low damage bolt cannon. I want like a better one. Yeah, buddy. Yay! We have an Accuracti medium range bolt cannon. So can I have two guns on here or can I only have the one? I like the music. That banjo's getting it right now. I always wanted to take the time to learn to play banjo and just never have extra time. There's lots of things I want to do with my life, and ultimately it's weird how often you put things on the shelf because, like, you've got work, or you've got other stuff you have to do, and it's just like you got to pay the bills, you know? you got to pay the bills. you got people relying on you. When people are relying on you, you can't be, like, dicking around wasting your time on, you know, random stuff when there's work to be done. But at a certain point, when is the work too much, you know? Like, when are you working too much? Nobody teaches you this shit. What's working too much? What's working too little? Nobody ever says... Nobody ever says. So I think we probably want to go that way to the southwest. That looks like, I mean, it's a little murky. Like, it's hard to see through the water over here, but that looks like it could be an alternate direction. Let's go have a look. It's 
So looks like there's a research capsule or something right there. We are in a current at the moment, but I'm going to turn away from it. So we found Dragon's Tongue. This will actually help us figure out if we're in the right spot or not. Three torpedoes. Good enough for me. We got the chart. So taking a look at this. Yes, we did make the right turn. Very, very nice. So we want to keep this southwest-ish, and then at a certain point, we're going to transition to southeast-ish. How do I... How do I change my gun? Is my curiosity here. Does it just use whatever the best one is? See, my thing is, how do I swap from the trash gun to the good gun? Maybe I have to sell it, and then it just uses whatever the best one is? He wants me to go back that way, but I don't think that's going to help out so much. Let's have a look around down here and see what we find. A couple of loot spots, if nothing else. I see two or three of them. There's one right there. There's one right there. They might just all be abandoned drill housing, but... On the plus side, I don't see enemies around, so that's always nice. I always end up in too many fights in this game. I've been murdering my way through the Z. I thought it was going to be a lot safer than this. Apparently, the established order has not done a whole lot to uh, remedy the pirate situation. A little bit of food in there and a couple of charts. A few more charts and a book. I don't have to do for right now. We've got what looks like another one right there. And then the, for some reason, there's a bunch of stuff at the bottom right there. So I'm thinking maybe there's a city or something down there. I don't know. It's probably going to cost us some cash to get our hands on that Morse machine. And I'm not looking forward to what the quote is going to look like. It'll probably have me go kill somebody is my other guess. It'll be like, oh, yeah, there's been a pirate in there. He's a dick. Go shoot him. And I'm like, okay. If he was a dick, I guess I'll murder him. Thank you for the Morse code machine. That's always the justification in video games. You'd be like, go murder that guy. Why? Because he's not nice. And I'd be like, done. Is there a gold reward? Do I get GPs for this? So what's up with this? I mean, this is... Daybreak. This is absolutely taking our depth down. But it's probably worth looking at. If we can't use it now, we can maybe use it later. It says it wants me to view a quest here. I don't know what quest I'm viewing, but let's take a look at the trader and see if he's got anything for me. I think I backed out on accident. Wooden charm for twenty-seven fifty, which is a lot cheaper than it was elsewhere. Okay. Well, we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Deluvion. I look forward to playing the game with you some more in the future. Don't know if this will be a full playthrough or if we'll just mess around. But I like the game, so I at least want to see what happens once we get moving. See you all next time. Hi-do, everybody.